So moving on then to consider um, the Poisson approximation. So if we've got a large n value and a small p value, so ballpark figures usually we say n to be greater than about 50 and p small enough so that np is less than or equal to 10, then a binomial distribution with those values for n and p can be approximated by a Poisson. Uh, and this approximation um, will require, or we work out lambda um, as the mean of our binomial, so where lambda is equal to n times p. The two diagrams show how a binomial with n of 200 and p of 0 0.1 and compares it to a Poisson distribution with a lambda value of 2. Note that 2 is NP in this case. And you can see that these, uh, from the diagrams, that these two distributions match up very closely. So, providing the above conditions are satisfied, a binomial distribution will be closely approximated by a Poisson distribution with a lambda value equal to N times P. So you can get questions that are set up and start as a binomial distribution. So in this particular example, P 0 0.01, 60 biscuits you unwrap. So we've got a binomial distribution with n is 60 and p is equal to 0 0.01. We want to work out the probability that none are double wrapped. Okay, uh, But the question says, use a suitable approximation. So you could just do that as a binomial because your calculator will cope with that now. But because it says using a suitable approximation, we need to look at NP and see that it's less than or equal to 10. Uh, look at our N value and see it's greater than 50 to justify our approximation and its validity. And then we can work out our lambda value and use our Poisson um, instead of our binomial to find the probability that x is equal to zero, either from calculator or from formula as it's been done here. And similarly, greater than or equal to two can be found using the Poisson. What I haven't included here in the solutions uh, is a comparison with those given by the original binomial, but that'll be easy enough for you to just check on your calculator so you could see what you'd actually get for each of these using this binomial and see how closely they match up with what you get by using the Poisson approximation. Because these conditions are satisfied you should find that these are good approximations.